We're back with Elden Ring, everyone. It's nighttime again, and here we are in Stormvale Castle, where we will get a move on. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is we'll meet up with Sorcerer Rogier because he's sort of the main man of this area. God, I hate the second one always misses. Not that it matters. Like, man, is this so much easier than when I did this with a melee character. Although back then, who knew? Like, that's the thing about these early areas. You don't really know how much of your fuck-ups were due to you not really being familiar with the sort of general vibe of Elden Ring. I forgot about you. To be expected, though. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't look at my mixed physic flask. Yeah, yeah. Something we need to take care of, because... I don't think I have one that does anything magic related, but if I do, I kind of need to use that. So yeah, we're going to meet up with Rogier because first of all, I think he does sell spells, doesn't he? Now I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't matter. Even if he doesn't, there are so many other sorcery dealers in this game. Wheelin' and dealin'. Not on Gavlan level, but whatever. Alright, bruh. What up, fellow sorcerer? He's got a goofy-ass outfit on, too. It's probably Gucci. God, he has creepy eyes, doesn't he? Right? He does. That's what's gonna happen. I don't even remember this dialogue. I must have been like not paying attention. Would you care to learn more? As a fellow tiny, he does. Guided by Grace. I'd love to help you out. Yes. This is cool. Cool, cool, cool. We have uh Glintstone Pebble, usable on swords as well as pole arms, capable of thrusting. It's a little like pew pew thing, right? Carrying great sword. Usable on swords. And then spinning weapon. This is the one that Renala uses. Let's go for carry and great sword. Let's go for that one. Yeah, we're gonna definitely take advantage of that. I think, if I remember correctly, the weapon I'm going for has glintstone pebble by default anyways. So we have that going for us. See, now the thing is... I'll beat this guy, because why not? But what I want to do is not go along this path, really. Because I, as I said, I sort of want to explore more of this place. Fucking hell, you're quick. And I feel like I didn't like... Oh fuck, don't switch to your... God damn it. Okay, I'm, I'm really annoyed by that. I thought I, like, two attacks back, I thought I switched to my straight sword already. And turns out I did not do that. Anyways, good chance, good a chance as any to take a look at this. And we have carrying greatsword, and we have a magic weapon now. Cool. And I'm guessing. Okay, this is the same animation. Nice. 
I thought there would be like a side slash version if you use it one handed, but I guess not. That's pretty good. I like that. Let me just get my souls here quickly. Cool. That's all I wanted. Uh, we can head back and actually go the other way. I know, I know this was probably a colossal waste of time, but hey. We got time. Don't worry about that. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is yeah, go up this path and I don't remember if you can actually, I think you can make that. Sorry about that. We're going to, it was just a bit of a tight jump. Oh, okay. Well, it's a tight jump if you're stupid. Not that this is any useful, but hey, it's really the thrill of getting it that counts. I really do want, you know, now that I'm having like this easy of a time, sometimes I really do wonder how long this is gonna potentially last. Ooh, I'm a platforming god. That was worth it for a couple of throwing daggers. I swear sometimes they put this shit here to tempt you. It's like, yeah, you wanna fall off, bitch? Go ahead and do it. I do, yeah, I do wonder when this game is gonna get difficult as a sorcerer character because yeah like, as i said when i was playing my pure melee build this was the easy part like most of this was a breeze but when that mountain top came around i was like damn what the hell is going on Okay, you guys need to chill out a little bit. Oh, you have... And that does quite a lot of damage, too. I did not know they could pull some shit like that. So, yeah, this is where... Like, this is the part I didn't really explore. I don't think I killed these guys. Like, the whole brigade... All right, all right, all right. So we can, yep, we can platform along here. Just stay cool. I know it all leads to the same place anyways. Uh, Yeah, we've been down there. Yeah, and then jump across there. Yeah, I think there could have been a few more sections like this in the game. I think Lanedale has a couple of areas that are like this, but Stormvale is the king of this. And then, yeah, we can get up there. That's where the fire-breathing weirdo hawk is. Yeah, and this drops you down behind the other guy, the knight. Yeah, it gets... You, if there is one enemy that deserves to get spell spammed to death, it's this thing. This thing killed me so many times. It's unbelievable. There's a lot of bong smoke coming out of there. That's for sure. Gotta stop that shit, boy. Alright. Of course, I'm a little bit tainted. I know I'm a little bit tainted by the knowledge of where to go. But hey, I just used the wrong flask because I'm stupid. See, this is where I've not been. Yeah, that's more like it. I do have 
Oh no, I have been here. That's the door that leads to the misericord. Misericord, whatever it's called. Hey there, tutorial boss. You still do a lot of damage. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we will come back to you in just a second. Again, armed with the knowledge of where the hell the actual bonfire is. Or side of grace, you know. It's always helpful. Ah, oh, shit. The fucking solid snake or Metal Gear Solid fucking chase music is gonna start playing. Why are you locking onto that enemy? Out of all the enemies to lock onto, it's the one like five miles away. Oh, hello there. Hello there, I'm out of magic. And I... What the... <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> nice who. Um, yeah, all of that was a little bit bizarre. And that's going to be putting it lightly. Just like the interactions, you know. Anyways, none of that matters because this is what matters here. And we're actually... <laughs> the clutch. The clutch, get the fuck out of there. Go back to your place. I love doing that. Like, a lot of Souls games don't allow you to do some shit like that. Like, that would have been too close for you to activate the side of grace. I guess because I was already... I, I was already in the animation. I guess the reason that's worked. We've actually done quite well. Oh, hello there, Omen. And hello there, strangely magic-resistant dog. What the hell? Yeah, so this guy... We gotta give this enemy credit. This enemy will always have a special place in my heart because he gave me the the almighty Omen Cleaver. I, I keep forgetting I don't need to double chug. God, what is this spell good for? I know absolutely nothing, but just look at that. I hit him point blank. I hit his fat ass with the crystal burst or whatever the shotgun move and it didn't do jack shit i hit him with a single glintstone pebble which is way easier to hit with and it does way more damage it's like how does the logic of that work right that doesn't make any sense and it doesn't make any sense how this guy gives 450 runes yeah, that's weird. And again, if you've been around the Souls games long enough, you will know that these like shotgun type burst spells, as I've I think previously mentioned, have always, always been absolutely worthless. Oh, is this the place? I know the path is like really convoluted. But isn't there this isn't this where you access the face from? Godwin's face? I th think it might be here. Or like you ex access it from here. Oh you know what? Holy shit. That does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage too. Mr. Alexander. I wonder when the prepared to cry is gonna come out of these guys. Oh, they're really weak to magic, aren't they? Sorry about that. I kinda always feel bad. 
Oh shit. Because I think the lore implies that some of these things are like mind controlled. Can I hit? Oh. This is such a dick move because these are the children, aren't they? Sorry about that, little pot. Don't worry, I'll try doing your quest line and that'll... That'll make up for it, right? Kinda? I guess not. Cool. Is that that shit I had on my weapon? Or like one of my weapons? Shit. Me and platforming. So... That's it, isn't it? I think this is the path. I've seen a video of this once, ages ago. And I didn't really memorize it, if I'm gonna be honest with you. And I might be completely wrong. But this might just be that path. Nothing else will get to explore an area of Stormvale I've not explored yet. No, 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 this, this has to be it. Oh, and I remember that enemy that I forgot the name of, Ulcerated Tree Spirit. That's what it's called. That thing is also a recycled enemy from Dark Souls 3. It is, does do magic damage. It's not a lot. Alright, I'll get to my weapon. Eventually. Plus, it's not like this is like mega upgraded or anything. I could upgrade it, actually, because... I just checked that the weapon I picked uses is somber smithing stones. Very conveniently. Surely what you seek is somewhere close by. Yes. Now we're cooking. Really nice Vista. That's the tutorial, by the way. Interesting that they refer to the tutorial area it's quite often, actually. And... Mm, it's down here, isn't it? This is really, like, again, I saw this in a video once. And I'm just going by sort of semi-instincts here. Hmm... Actually... And I'm not sure. Unless this is a... Yes! This is a shortcut. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, we pretty, pretty much got our path, don't we? So there is no, like... I see you there. That's very, very sneaky. But you ain't gonna get me. Oh. Uh, yeah, definitely go down. He's like at the bottom of the castle. Like the very, very bottom. I so want to see him. Because he's like apparently really creepy. There's that YouTube video of him. Where they show the full character model of Godwin. Yeah, he's like super creepy. Alright. Fucking camera. Yeah, this is this this is it. I know I've said this is it like five times, but I'm kind of excited about this. These are like the real bottom dwellers of the castle here. We have quite a lot of HP. It's just because I'm not using my pew pew. See, people always tell me to use more of my magic, 
Well, we're pretty much in a situation where anything but my magic spells are completely worthless against enemies. Holy shit, you have a lot of HP. I got my sneaky little lantern there. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Are you... Don't even think about... Fucking... No! Switch back! Come on! No! <sighs> Ranker call. This is a sorcery, isn't it? It's one of those faith-based ones, I think. Why am I speculating when I can check? Rank or call? Yeah, see, it needs faith. Interesting. Intelligence and faith. Summon vengeful spirits that chase down foes. Sorcery of the servants of death. Summons vengeful spirits that chase down foes. Charging... Ugh, I can't talk. Enhances potency. Once thought lost, this ancient death hex was rediscovered by the necromancer Garrus. So yeah, basically there are no hexes in this game. This is it. There are no hexes in this game. Yeah, there it is. If you think I'm gonna fight this fucking thing, you've got another thing coming, because... If there's one enemy that's not worth fighting, it's this goddamn thing. Like, Puss of Man is a boss. There it is! Look at this thing. It's so creepy. Oh, come on. I didn't think you could follow me in here. Jesus, I I absolutely hate this enemy. This enemy is god awful. He is So, if you don't know, the thing is this thing is based off of a cut Dark Souls 3 enemy that was based off of the Puss of Man. Look at it. That is so awesome. That is one of the best like like creepiest best designed things in this game. It's so like Bloodborne-ish. So what that is basically, to give you the super secret lore discord tech, is the face of Godwin. So Godwin was the first, if I get the lore right, so Godwin was the first of these demigods to be killed. And he was actually killed. Damn, Snake Eater again? He was actually killed like with the Rune of Death. But apparently... His corpse is like infecting the earth tree and it's like spreading through the roots and that's where all these like death postules and whatever all this shit, death root and all that, that's where it comes from. And yeah, that's how his face shows up in the, in the sort of roots because the, the tree is like recreating it because he's like infecting it that is really awesome totally worth the I don't know 15 minute detour or whatever yeah that's hella worth it I thought what the hell was that do you see that it's straight up pulled off a teleport Um, that completely derailed my train of thought. So yeah, like, this is the type of shit I like in my Souls game. Like, all these, like, hidden little creepy things that not even, that are, like, not even necessarily explained or have, like, any sort of main story significance. That's what I like. That's why I love Yosefka's clinic. I mean, that one does kind of have significant lore implications, but... You know, it's just that there's just like this creepy area that's sort of just there. Nefeli. I'm gonna try doing your questline as well. And I've said this to like 50 NPCs at this point and I'm 
probably not gonna get through two of them but stay optimistic you know that's how we do it You're kind of awesome. Yeah, I, this is one of the NPCs I'm kind of bummed about missing the quest line to. <laughs> Excuse me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we're almost there. Zin almost there at Godric. He's the easy part, I think. No, no, like I'm not gonna pretend he's gonna be easy because, like, he does do damage. You can't deny that. And the amount of HP I have is, well, lacking, to put it, to put it bluntly. Okay, I'm gonna, like, really... I so wanna see this. Let me get in here. So bad. It's so bad. That I even charged it up. How can a spell be that shitty? Incredible. All right. Sorry about that giant. You're cool, but what's got to be done is got to be done. And this is actually going to work out perfectly. I'm going to go back to the round table hold as well. And we'll give Godric a shot. Nah, you know what? I've This is a pretty long episode already. We're right at the end. What I'm going to do is... Hmm. God, it's tempting. HP is tempting, isn't it? Yeah, but we're gonna go back. Let's get a little bit of weapon upgrades in here. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on my astrologer sword a little bit, and actually we can focus on both. But my, yeah, the staff is where it's at. Uh, hey, Fia. Should we cuddle? All we gotta do is just use the bald, bald chin blessing or whatever. Hug it out, bro. Oh, that's so sweet. Damn, that's sneaky too. Like you don't notice it. Oh, there was a... Did you see that? Talking secret. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, redo, redo. I want to see. It's like, like she has a big quest line too. God, that is a slow animation. You are so. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble. Do so is the purpose of my being. 
Hmm. My dear. Hmm. Interesting. So she's basically like, I don't know, is she like meant to wake up tarnished? Is that what it is that she does? Or well, before she was chased away? I, I guess so. Huh. Let's go back to Stormvale. Couple of more things to take care of, mainly that grafted scion. I feel like that is always uh, an enemy that's worth killing. Mainly because they're gross. They're gross and weird. Oh yeah, I've never, I've not done any of these, either. That's like actually what the. Fuck off. <sighs> the dogs. I, sh I should have guessed that was going to happen, but I, I don't know why I didn't. Alright, hey, you you want to chill out a little bit? Like, I got the whole squad on me. Interesting that that one has, like, weird glowy eyes. What the... Now, you see, I do wonder how... I mean, it does a little bit more damage. But I'm guessing the difference is not that dramatic with sorcery stabs. The only thing I hate about this thing is how much damage it does. And how, like, weirdly fast it is. Stay cool, stay cool. See, I could have beaten this thing at the tutorial. I already know. Like, this is what I should have done. Just stay out of range and spam it to death. Cool. That is easy money, if I've ever used the term. But hey, you always learn, don't you? On my third playthrough, that's definitely how I'm gonna do it. I should eat JK because I'm not gonna be playing a mage. Well, sort of mage. What was this? Chrysalid's memento? Don't remember what this is. Oh, is this what you have to give to Rodrika? I like legit don't remember what the hell this is. Uh, that's a shortcut. Oh, you can always look it up, but you know. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. All right, well, I think that's gonna sort of kind of wrap up our little journey. The first part of our journey into this area. I mean, it's been 37 minutes, so I feel like we've gone pretty deep into it. Yeah, this is this is a great dungeon, an excellent dungeon. I love I love everything they've done with this place. Super cool. All right, next episode, Godric. First of the demigods, we're going to be facing him down. It's going to be an interesting fight. We'll see how our spell spam works against him. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the yeah sorcery run for Elden Ring. I hope to catch you next time. Take care and peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>